Hello there folks here in beautiful Signal Hill, California. Tiny little city, I guess, north of uh, Long Beach. That's that's Long Beach right there, that big skyline. That's Long Beach, California. Uh, Los Angeles is right over there. You can actually see the San Gabriel Mountains. Those are the peaks of the San Gabriel Mountains sticking out behind the cars there, uh, sort of through the haze. And uh, gorgeous date palms here loaded with seed. Gotta got love that, just so nice and palmy here. King palms there, uh, and then these beautiful Spanish uh, style houses. Uh, the architecture around here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at this because this is pretty neat. Um, these trees are absolutely stunning, some sort of uh, evergreen. Uh, I think they might be um, manzanita, but I may be wrong because I saw some like this in the wild when I was in California a little while ago, like camping a few years ago. Uh, but check this out. This is really, really stunning bark. Really gorgeous. Oh my God, and it smells amazing. It's got an incredible smell to it. So those of you uh, experts, uh, broadleaf evergreen experts, let me know. Uh, manzanita or not, because uh, really, really gorgeous, uh, whatever it is. It's amazing just how lush and green things are here. You would never, <laughs> you never know it's winter by looking at it, uh, but it's actually, I guess, uh, it is actually officially winter, yeah. I guess yesterday was the first day of winter, but yeah, let's take a look at this view here, because this is pretty extraordinary. Uh, there's a monument here, a statue. So this over here, this is, Oh, this is stunning. Look at these houses. The view these houses have are incredible. So this is Long Beach, California down there. The coast sort of, uh, it goes up there towards Santa Monica and then it sort of bends out here. This is called the Palos Verdes Peninsula, this big sort of mountain-like thing. And then it curves around here and heads down. That's Orange County over that way. And San Diego's down there. Um, like that's, I think that's uh, Santa Ana, those skyscrapers way over there in the distance. Uh, the, that video of the coconut palm in, uh, in, in uh, I think it's in Santa Ana, that I have a video of, if you guys know that video, um, is just over there somewhere. So coconuts, uh, worth a shot here, definitely. Um, I'd plant one if I lived here. And uh, this view is just gorgeous. Hilltop Park uh, in Signal Hill. But uh, amazing, there's oil derricks everywhere. Oil's, uh, tons of places drilling for oil around here. Um, and, uh, but yeah, this is uh, Long Beach there. That's the Palos Verdes though. The hill, there's homes on top of that hill. It must have an incredible view. You can see like the smog and the haze here. And then this bridge over here, this modern bridge and all those cranes and all those dozens of ships waiting out there. I know the port's kind of clogged right now. This is the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach. So Los Angeles sort of snakes its way down here even though downtown's way probably like 15 miles over there. Um, this uh, area over there is also part of Los Angeles. And then this is Long Beach, its own city. So the, the combined ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are the busiest uh, container port in the United States. Uh, and right now, yeah, they're having, you know, just, there's tons of ships just waiting to get in. Uh, and then that, those mountains over there, that's, uh, it's a huge, huge landmass. That's Catalina Island. You can see it starts all the way, sorry, starts all the way over there and goes all the way down there. That whole thing is Catalina Island. It's over 20 miles long. Um, beautiful area. I've never, never been there, but it looks, looks really stunning. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, let's go over here. Go check this out. It's really cool. So yeah, I never knew about this until now, but recommend it. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Very blessed to be able to uh, see this. It's really, Southern California just really cannot be beat. It is a place of its own. The, the different plants that grow here is just fascinating. Yeah, check out this view. That's the porch right there beautiful very hazy as usual but uh a gorgeous view that's Catalina Island amazing that whole mountains all the way from there to there that whole thing is Catalina Island one of them of the uh, several channel islands um, and then yeah if we go up here let's see I don't know how good the view is because again it is very uh, hazy right now but yeah that's those are homes up there on top of there crazy the views those places must have must cost a fortune. And then you can see all the dates up here. Beautiful Phoenix Dactylifera. Date palms here. You can actually see this, look at this. These are dates, I wonder how they taste. <laughs> That's cool. I might try one of those. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. Really, really extraordinary. So, oh, this is interesting. Look at this, some sort of modern art installation here. Really beautiful. And then, if you head out across here, might get a view of downtown Los Angeles with the frame by the mountains. Really beautiful. Gorgeous. 
try to make my way down here. Oh, oh, there it is. That's downtown right there through all that smog. I don't know if you guys can see those. They're all the many skyscrapers of downtown. And then right over there, you can only sort of see it here, but that's the San Gabriel Mountains. What you're looking at right now, I think that's even snow on top. There is some snow on top of uh, the highest peaks in the San Gabriel. They're already getting snow here. Uh, the Sierra Nevada, which desperately needs it. They're in a you know, huge drought for the last like decade. They're getting dumped with snow. So I know all the skiing's open there. Um, and apparently, yeah, the mountains are out west, just getting tons of snow. And then, of course, we're having this like record freeze in the Midwest, right as I'm supposed to head to Cincinnati. So from this gorgeous, gorgeous, picture-perfect weather to uh, the coldest temperatures I've ever experienced. I've never experienced anything uh, negatives. You know, last time I experienced single digits was 2014. Oh, look at the hummingbird there. Gorgeous. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be, I'm now seeing a low of negative eight. I don't know if it'll pan out, but uh, I guess tomorrow or the next day, I think it's tomorrow night uh, in Cincinnati. So it's going to be absolutely frigid wind chill that could be literally uh, easily as cold as negative 25 degrees of wind chill I, I i i can't even picture what that feels like um but i will report on it to you guys as always um but uh not looking forward too much to uh to that but uh you know i love cincinnati great place very different from, from los angeles love them both but uh, it is pretty it is pretty amazing out here and the weather really can't be beat um it's interesting i actually was expecting to feel a little, little chillier because Often this time of year. I mean, the low is every, the last two nights I think were 48 degrees, which you'd think that would feel kind of chilly, but amazing. When you, when you got out, I got out this morning, I think it was actually 47, uh, and it really actually felt, wow, felt perfect. Um, 47 degrees uh, in the morning in Los Angeles with the sun hitting you actually feels amazing. Uh, it felt great, nice and crisp, and then as the day warmed up, it just felt absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful queen palms up there. Uh, so the, you guys may know, I'm not just out here for fun. I don't just take trips to Los Angeles for fun. Uh, that'd be cool, but no, I'm, I'm out here for, uh, for I'm, I'm part of an allergy clinic that does allergy treatment out here. And uh, they, uh, the office is like right down there. I always see these homes up here. And uh, I, I mean, they're, they're beautiful, amazing, incredible, incredible view, but I've never actually been up here and I'm glad I made it up here because it's a pretty stunning view. All the eucalyptus here. I believe these are mostly eucalyptus globulus, blue gum. Um, and then beautiful, that probably might probably naturalize tons of them. Uh, fully skirted Washingtonia there, and you can see them just lining the street there, uh, all down there. I mean, it's amazing as you look out into the horizon. You can see it better along the coast, you actually can't see it too well here. But as you look out, you just see the washies everywhere, just uh, like you know, sticking into the sky. It's pretty extraordinary, um, you know, like when you're on the freeway or, or such. And uh, yeah, check this out. Look, those are the San Gabriel Mountains there. That, that might be Mount Baldy. I think it's 10, 000, over 10,000 feet. Uh, serious, serious mountain. And uh, over the eucalyptus trees there, beautiful. So you can see it looks like there's a little snow on it. I know it's also, I think, I'm assuming that's snow. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, it does get cold up there. And uh, you can see the other peaks here through the smog. Just gorgeous. I want to share that with you folks. Uh, Hilltop Park in uh, Signal Hill, California beautiful view uh this it's insane how big how big the uh the la area is when you fly over at night especially seeing it just it sort of just ends all the lights end once you reach the mountains but uh it is so sprawling all the way out to san bernardino basically out to palm springs and uh it is just it's amazing where, where new york's built up la is built out it is just expands like crazy endless endless homes endless uh freeways and uh i mean it is it is gorgeous and uh so green it's amazing when you look out at dc this time of year it's all brown here it's all green um all, all the trees have their leaves on them and uh, beautiful agave here so much as agave americana you can see all the pups there naturalizing but uh, just amazing plantings here king palms down there and uh yeah i just want to share that with you folks so lots of amazing vantage points here in uh, the la in la and also just all across the west you know amazing views that we do not have in the east coast you know just given the topography here it is so cool I just, Southern California is amazing. Take care, folks. Like and subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated um, about the uh, the Arctic uh, temperatures I'm about to experience. I, uh, I got to prepare my prepare myself for that because uh, negative, you know, anything negative does not sound too pleasant, but it's going to be quite an experience. But I'll get to get to go see my family, which is always a, uh, always a great thing, special. Um, and then after that, we're actually heading to Mexico. Never been there before. Um, I'm incredibly, incredibly excited for that. Just down the coast, actually, Baja, California. 
Um, so uh, very excited to keep you guys updated and uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe for more videos. Hope you all are doing well. Let me know what you guys' holiday plans are. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing too crazy cold like we're gonna be having uh, DC. I'm now seeing lows forecast around eight degrees. Uh, originally it said around like 15, but now it's just getting down to like eight. I don't know if that'll actually happen or not. Probably won't, you know, certainly not tracky killing temperatures, but uh, we may see some damage on my, on my trackies, who knows? Um, but I'll keep you guys updated, of course. Nothing nothing too terrible in the meantime. Uh, but that is, that is quite, quite cold. Colder than anything we've got in the past couple of years. Take care, folks.